Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to make a JDBC PostgreSQL connection. Um, I'm using IntelliJ here. And this is a very simple project, and the source code is on GitHub. And if you look at the code there, you'll see that I only have two classes. I have a class called Connection, Util, and Main. And the way you get started with this project, and I've already basically created it, but you would go to New Project here. New Project. And you would you could actually create, you don't have to do this new project here, because it might, it might give you a build system. You could even do it just on empty. But you can do that, and you'll have a very simple thing, and you can just right-click and create two classes, Connection, Util, and Main. Your first class connection util will look like this. You can basically you can go into the GitHub link and copy and paste um, all this source code. Okay, and uh, you you will most likely have a 5432 port. And the important part of this URL is the fact that I have it so that it's routed right to the schema you're working on. Your PostgreSQL schema. Um, so a lot of times some people might say you can only you should put your URL here up to forward slash Postgres because forward slash Postgres is usually like the default database. But you could do the question mark current schema equals and then the name of the schema you have. And if you look at my PostgreSQL admin you can see it here the schema JDBC lesson okay so this program will connect to this database and then this schema here JDBC lesson and in here I already have made tables uh, yeah I have three tables here okay and shows you the SQL uh, the making the SQL okay so if you want to set up and do this mini project, I have these two URLs. I'll, I'll uh, post them in the video description. But you got to download the correct jar file, okay? So you go to this page here, postgresql.org slash download. And it's kind of overwhelming. There's all these different things here. You could probably get away with downloading a lot of these. Or you could... But but the important thing is is you have to go to this column here, JDBC 4.2, okay. And you I for this little project, I downloaded this one, 42.2, in this third column here. I downloaded this one here. That's your. You'll see that in your library. And then if you want to use this app. You go to this page and you click this download the installer. This is the PostgreSQL admin for app. Okay. And you can also just look at your database on DBeaver as well. I use that too. It does the same thing. But I was downloading this app for other reasons. But yeah, you can use DBeaver. You can use this PostgreSQL uh, app here. Um, I use Windows. So, anyway, so in your connection util class, you got this. And in your main, you got your main method here. Okay, this is what it looks like. I have this static scanner here. You can ignore that um, because I'm going to build this out and have inputs. But here's your main method here. And you instantiate a connection util object from your connection util class and you put in your DB name Postgres and that comes from here Postgres database is right here this database here so you, you put that in there your user whatever user name you'll sign up with usually it's Postgres and then your password goes in here and I'll enter my password uh, yeah, if you look at the connection util, this is the constructor. DB user pass. 
and there probably is a more efficient way to do this out here but I kind of got fed up and just did it the long way um, to me I find PostgreSQL tricky I even thought of doing MySQL instead but anyway I'm gonna run this okay let's see what happens and look something unusual has occurred because the driver caused the driver to fail please report this ex exception okay so this failed and the reason why is because I don't have a password entered so as soon as I paste my password in there it should be alright so I'm gonna do, do that uh, all right. Now let's run it again. Look at that connection established. Okay. So we just established a connection to this here. I wonder if it would show you that a connection has been made. I don't know. Um, uh, maybe. I'm not sure my um, navig my thing here is. I'm not sure how to read all this stuff, but see, this source code, this project here, connection established, and this string here came from my connection util class. This is what's given when there's a successful connection. So yeah, go to the uh, GitHub. Just download, um, or you can clone that code. You can put your own username and password in there. Remember to download the correct uh, jar file. So yeah, you go here, you go to your project root, you right click, and you go to your open module settings, click libraries. This is where you add. So when you go here and you download the correct jar here, 42.2 when you correct when you download the correct one okay it should be somewhere in your download folder and from there you will go to um, your libraries and you'll click here you'll click add Java and you'll 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 click that thing you downloaded and you'll add it to here and then you'll click OK. So you see that 42.2 jar? That's in the library here. And this, ignore this. This is an old one I had. Ignore that. That's an old one I had. This is the correct one 42.2. Okay. You got it. Yeah, you have to add that to make the program run. And yeah, so uh, thanks for watching.